Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway, preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky, and I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4, and I would like to start in verse 6 and work our way through verse 9. Again, it's just uh, fun to try to figure out what to talk about, what I can... Uh, give a short talk about in some of these chapters of Revelation um, while trying to not just hit the obvious little points but uh, make some other points as we go through it though I think they all are pointing towards the same points that Christ is king he is victorious the ways of the world is wrong um, but if you will pick up with me in verse 6 it says and before the throne, there was something like a sea of glass, like crystal. And in the center and around the throne, four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first creature was like a lion. The second creature was like a calf. And the third creature had a face like that of a man. And the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings and full of eyes around and within, and day and night they had, they do not cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. And when the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever. And so, one of the things to keep in mind as you, you continue to study through Revelation is to have a mindset of hopefully things you have studied throughout the Old Testament and in the New Testament, but a lot in the Old Testament. And when we study the Old Testament, you'll study about the tabernacle and the temple and the the Ark of the Covenant the, that that was guarded by the cherubims the God coming in the presence of Israel in between the cherubims of the ark. And so you have all that. And so then you, you look at the beginning of chapter four and the mindset that he sees him, our Lord, our God sitting on the throne. And he tries to give a description of our God and his glory. And so again, we as humans can't grasp his full glory. And Moses could only see it just a glimpse of that. And so here John, uh, you know, probably couldn't truly see the full glory of God also, but he's tried to explain that with the rainbow and the colors uh, that took place. But then you have these four creatures that are there. And uh, um, I believe that these four creatures could be cherubims, right? Uh, that they're cherubims. And you, you have this description, right, that they have eyes everywhere in the front and behind and then he describes these creatures one of a lion a calf a human an eagle flying eagle and and so again what we know and study about cherubims they, they have more power than we they are greater and mightier than we are and yet you you see these creatures and they have what is it uh in verse eight four living creatures each one having the ha each one of them having six wings are full of eyes around and within day and night and what do they not cease to do they don't cease to say holy 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 is the lord god the almighty who was who is who is to come and so even these creatures who are greater than humans who have this greater power and, and eyes everywhere and they don't cease to to praise the name of god to praise our lord to say holy 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 is the lord god almighty in verse 9 again that it brings out these points that to him who lives forever and ever right it's just continuous praise to god and so that, that should be our mindset as we give praise to God, that, that we look at these things as we see a, a glimpse, you know, a glimpse of what heaven might be like, a glimpse of what, because John is pulled up there in, in the heavens and, and seeing these things, that we're to somehow imitate 
the worship that is given to God here on earth, to worship our God, to give him glory continuously, to praise his name, to make sure that we do not take his name in vain. And so uh, that's my thoughts for today. Again, I uh, appreciate everybody who continues to join me and uh, as we work our way through the book of Revelation. Uh, if the Lord's will, I'll talk to you later.